What's up guys, welcome to Diving Garage. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to turn this into this. Let's dive in. All right, so first I'm gonna show you the panels I'll show you what we're starting with. Let's check them out. Now I pulled these off of a 1979 GMC Sierra Grand. And yeah, that's grand, not grande, because somebody snapped the emblem off. But it's okay. The panels were still in great shape. So really I'm surprised, because a lot of these I find going through the junkyard is that these areas here, are really worn out. Like even this one's got some wear on it, but nothing we can't handle. And another thing I'll see is sometimes these are smashed in, or like some of these little ears are broken off. But these ones are in great, great shape. Yeah, overall, awesome. They'll be perfect for Hank. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna see if we can get this trim off here and this trim off here. If you go on the back, there are screws all over that you can take off so you can get those pieces off. Oh, that's not good. Well, while I was trying to get all these fasteners off, one of them snapped. Hope that's not a, a sign for the way that the rest of this project is gonna go. <laughs> I hope not. Broke again. Not good, not good. One last chance. Broke again. Okay, how many did we successfully extract? One? Maybe two. Sheesh. Yeah, I have a feeling we're gonna be gluing this thing back in. Not cool. How many do we got left? One, two. Okay, so warning, these are pretty fragile. Well, we'll set that aside for now. And let's break some more when we take out the ones around the door handle. Nope, nope, nope. None of these wanna cooperate. Now these ones I really need. Nope, snapped. <laughs> oh no. Snapped. Oh. Last one. <laughs> Are these like a right left handed thread or something? It doesn't seem like it. No, they're just they're just from 1979, that's all. Snapped. Awesome. <laughs> This is going smooth already. Why would we expect any different? <laughs> okay, so we got our panel stripped down. So we got the trim out and we got the uh, door handle trim out. And like I said, we'll probably end up having to glue those back in, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Anyway, uh, that's about it as far as stay down. You can, you can take this one out if you want. And you know what, I think I actually might because there's just some little tabs you spread out down there. Yeah, I'm gonna try to take this out. If you see in here, there is just these little tabs that you spread out. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, you see those little tabs in there? All you gotta do is um, unspread those out, narrow them up, and then you should be able to slide that thing right out, and then you should be able to put it right back once you're done. But things don't go smoothly like that around here. I think if you're a subscriber of the channel, if you're not, hit the subscribe button right now. If you're a subscriber of the channel, you know that. Some, it just, things don't go the way they should around here sometimes, <laughs> most of the time. Right, one, Here's two, three, one more. Don't snap, don't snap. Right, snap. That should pop right out. Yes, here we go. That's how it's supposed to go. <laughs> all right, now our panel is all stripped down, ready to start getting prepped up for paint. So let's go over what we're gonna be using today. The process is pretty simple. No, you don't start with the paint. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this thing really good. First, we're gonna start, uh, well, actually, I'm gonna grab one more thing. First thing we want to start with is some degreaser. This here is just uh, Purple Power. You can find it at your local parts store. 
and then we're gonna follow it up with some soapy water and then finally some 91% alcohol. And while we're cleaning it, we're gonna be scrubbing it down with just some regular Brillo pads. And I'm gonna be using these in the degreaser and the soapy water stays. Once we get down to the 91% um, alcohol, we'll switch over just some blue rags. And then of course, we're gonna be using some Duplicolor vinyl and fabric paint. This stuff is pretty good. Won't lie, I did a little bit of a test. They're gonna come out awesome. And even just with the degreaser, man, these things are really coming around. Sorry, so next up, we're gonna do soapy water and do the exact same thing. If you're curious where to get these, just head down to your local $3 store and uh, pick yourself up a couple of these. I got this, the uh, alcohol, and the sprayer there. and I'm going to be using a new scrubbing pad. Now I really want to get down in these crevices where like some like stitching looks like it is. And this is a brand new nylon brush. So I'm just going to gently get in there on all of the uh, stitching areas. All right, so now that this thing is all scrubbed down, I'm actually gonna take it out to the hose and hose it down and really give it a good wash down. And then we're gonna come back with our final step with the alcohol. Oh man, this thing's looking really good. All we did was clean it up with some degreaser and soapy water and it really came around. And you could almost put this right back in their truck, but we're not doing that. So let's get this dried down hit it with the alcohol, and then we can get ready to paint. These things are looking great. Okay, so from here on out, obviously, I'm gonna be wearing gloves, so I don't wanna get any grease or any of my uh, oils from my hands on here. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean this area up, grab a drop cloth, and we'll bust the paint out. All right, so this is the paint we're gonna be using, in case you wanna check it out. Duple color, violin fabric, this is the charcoal gray. So what you want to do is make sure you shake this up real good. And we already did a great prep on our surface here. And you're not going for coverage in one coat. I'm probably going to do five coats. The first two are going to be pretty light. And then I'll start to lay it on with the last two or three. So let's do this. I'll bring in. Well, that figures. <laughs> I, I thought the camera was recording. And it wasn't. Sorry about that, but all I did was I came out here real wide and I was doing coats right about up here like this. Actually a little closer than that. 
And man, this stuff covers really good. I wasn't expecting this much coverage on coat number one. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna let this dry. And man, this is gonna look killer. Anyway, we're gonna let this dry. I'm gonna give it a couple minutes to flash over and then we'll be right back. And I'll make sure to have the camera on this time. <laughs> Oh man, this thing is looking sick. It still needs to dry so you still see some variations in the color. But man, this thing is awesome. Woo! All right, so while this finished drying, I'm gonna work on this trim piece next. And I was going to just shoot it the same gray, but I changed my mind and I think I might do a black. Give it a bit of a, a two-tone color going on here. So I'm gonna put, get this, prep that up get it down here and get it painted up. All right, so I got this trim piece all prepped up and the panel is coming out more of a flat, barely a satin. And I wanna give this a bit of variety. So I'm actually gonna try this. Yeah, I know what it says, but this is a gloss black and I'm gonna do a little bit of experimenting here. If this ends up sucking, I'll take this back off and probably shoot it the same color. But you know what, you gotta try stuff sometimes. All right, let's check this thing out. Ooh, man, this thing looks awesome. Loving the black and the gray. I'm glad I decided to try that out. And that chrome cleaned up really good too. Man, who thought you can get this kind of finish from a spray can? This thing looks great. It's still drying a bit. I'll probably let it cure for a couple days before I end up putting it in. But dang. Right now, Hank has no door panel, so this is a major, <laughs> major upgrade. Yes, and just for reference real quick, there's the old one, old one, new one, old one, new one, man. Look, nothing wrong with the old style with the blue, you know, I'm, I'm all for it. But dang, this is just a different impact with that black and gray. And I also did the uh, armrests off camera too. Came out exactly the same, came out great. Well, I'll show you. This is how the armrest came out. I'll just sit right in there. And I thought to myself right after those finished, man, how cool would it have been if armrests were black too? <laughs> of course, you always have ideas and they're a little too late. Oh well, man, these things look great. If you're trying to breathe some life into your old door panels, check this stuff out. This isn't a show car finish. You can still see some scuffs. You can tell it's got some age on it. But man, what a new, what a great new finish that it gives to these things. And I love the two-tone. Love it. It's great. Well, hey, if you liked the video, help me out. Hit subscribe. Hit like. Share it with your friends. I appreciate it. Appreciate all those comments and all the support. It really means a lot to me. Now, don't be afraid to get out there. Dive in your next project. Catch you next time.